Okay, so uh, today we're going to uh, look at the simple guide to the Lambert W function graph. Okay, so um, let's get stuck right into it and start right at the beginning. Um, what does the Lambert W function do? Okay, well, basically and most fundamentally, it allows us to solve the equation y equals x e to the x. Um, now I can hear you saying um, that you'd probably quite happily go through life not being able to solve that equation, um, and you'd probably be right. But what uh, the Lambert um, W function also allows us to do is, is solve much, much more than just this equation. It, for example, allows us to solve uh, equations such as uh, x plus 2 equals e to the 4 minus 6x, or uh, 3 to the power of x equals 2x plus 2, or... Uh, x plus 4 log x equals 10 um, or my favorite and um, we've already done some videos on this um, uh, in the, on the Gresty Academy channel uh, the infinite power tower x to the power of x to the power of x to the power of x equals y um, it allows us to solve all of these types of, uh, of, of equations in addition to the uh, uh, the principal one which is uh, x e to the power of x um, and we will do um, solutions to uh, to all of these types of equations here in in a subsequent video but in this video let, let's just um uh, let, let's just uh, move on uh, to, to working out what the Lambert W function graph is. Now, what we're going to do uh, the at the end of this video, we're going to be able to solve. We're going to be able to answer the uh, the following um, four equations: x to the, e to the x equals minus two, x equal e to the x equals minus one over e, x e to the x equals minus a quarter, and x e to the x equals four. And by the time we've done that. Um, and we do that using the Lambert W function graph. Uh, by the time we've done that, uh, we should have a good, pretty good uh, understanding of, uh, of, of what the Lambert W function graph is and, and, and how it's used. Okay, so let's um, let's just start. We need to talk about uh, inverses because uh, fundamentally the Lambert W function is an inverse. So let's just look at some very simple inverses to start with. Let, let's say we have y equals 2x plus 4. How do we find the inverse? Well, we make x the subject. So uh, y minus 4 over 2 equals x. And then we simply replace x with y and y with x. And we have y equals x minus 4 over 2. That is the inverse of that. Uh, let's give another example. Um, for example, y equals x squared. Uh, so uh, x equals root y. And then all we've got to do is, uh, is flip the x and flip the y, and we have y equals root x. And that is the inverse of that. Nice and simple. Um, so you might think, well, um, why can't we do that with y equals uh, x e to the x? Well, with using fundamental algebra, it is impossible to move or, or, or arrange this equation so that we have x as a function of y. Uh, it simply can't be done with traditional algebra. Okay, but that doesn't mean the inverse doesn't exist. It, it certainly does exist. It's just we can't write it with algebra. So what we do is we call the inverse w, which is the Lambert w function. So if y equals x e to the x, then the solution to that is x equals w of y, uh, where w is the Lambert w function. Okay, and that is our answer. Right, so um, just going back to these, these two examples uh, here, let, let's put them on a graph. Um, let's just get a little bit more space here. Um, so if we uh, just have a, a chart here and we draw the first one, which is uh, uh, y equals, uh, what was it, y equals um, uh, 2x add 4. So y equals 2x add 4 looks something like that. That's y equals 2x add 4, and uh, its inverse is, uh, whatever it was, y equals x minus 4 over 2. Uh, so its inverse is something like that, y equals x minus 4 over 2. Um, we will find that if we look at the um, line y equals x, this and this are mirror images of each other through the line y equals x. And that's basically what is the case with all inverses. Literally, if we add uh, y equals x squared onto this graph, let's put y equals x squared. There's y equals x squared. And uh, is there any color we haven't used? Green. And let's put y equals root x. Again, y equals root x and y equals x squared 
are mirror images of each other in the line y equals x. So basically, in order to draw uh, the Lambert W function, um, we know that it is the mirror of y equals x e to the x in the line y equals x. So the first thing we've got to do is draw y equals x e to the x. So let's go about doing that. Um, so we want to draw y equals x e to the x. So first of all, let's uh, uh, when when x is zero, y is zero, obviously. Um, so that's easy. Nice. It goes through the origin. Um, let's differentiate. So dy dx equals by the product rule uh, equals x e to the x add e to the x, which equals x add one e to the x, which equals zero when x equals minus 1. So we know there's a critical point at x equals minus 1. And when x equals minus 1, we plug minus 1. Sorry, let's go in here. We, we plug uh, minus 1 e to the minus 1. So when x is minus 1, y is minus, uh, y is minus 1 over e. So we know that that is a critical point. And in actual fact, it's a minimum. If we, if we did the second derivative, we find it was a minimum. Um, but I won't bother doing that. Um, so we know that the, there's a minimum minus 1, minus, minus uh, 1 over e, and that's a very important point which we'll, we'll discuss further later. Um, when uh, x approaches infinity, um, x e to the x clearly approaches infinity because uh, that approaches infinity and that approaches infinity, so infinity times infinity is infinity. More interestingly, what about when x approaches minus infinity? Um, so let's have a look at the limit as x approaches minus infinity of x e to the x, and that will tell us what happens as we go to, to minus infinity. Um, well, we're going to get here uh, minus infinity times e to the minus infinity, which is minus infinity times 0, which is indeterminate. Um, um, but it's not a form where we can use L'Hopital. But if we do a slight uh, adjustment where e to the x is actually the same as 1 over e to the minus x, um, we can do the limit as x approaches minus infinity of x over e to the minus x, which, as we said, is exactly the same thing. Um, and that is in a form where we can use L'Hopital, so we can do the derivative, uh, which gives us the limit of, as x approaches minus infinity, of 1 over minus e to the minus x. Uh, and when we stick a minus infinity in there, we get uh, equals 1 over minus e to the infinity, which is 0. So we know that as x approaches minus infinity, uh, the function x e to the x approaches 0. Good. So now we can draw it. Uh, and uh, this is uh, you'll see how this is related uh, to the Lambert W function in a minute. So let, let's just try and draw it. And I'll try and draw it fairly accurately because it is uh, pretty fundamental to this entire video. So this is y equals... Uh, x e to the x okay so we know that the uh, uh, there's a minimum uh, we know that it goes through the point uh, 0 0 and we know that there is a minimum at minus 1 minus 1 over e we've already worked that out so there's the minimum and we know that as x approaches minus infinity uh, the function uh, approaches 0 so it's like this and we know uh, that as uh, x goes to plus infinity the function shoots off exponentially up there like that. So this is our function here. This is the graph of y equals x e to the x. Right, so the now what we want to do um, is we just look at uh, the line y equals x and as the Lambert w function is the inverse of y equals uh, x e to the x then w of y is basically just the mirror of this curve. Um, so the point minus 1 minus 1 over e becomes minus 1 over e minus 1 and that is a very very important point uh, on the Lambert W function so let's put that in uh, uh, what color should we put it in? Uh, let's put it in white. Okay so that basically is here which is the mirror of that um, we know that it goes through the point zero, 0, so again, that's exactly the same here. Um, and we know that uh, the mirror of this part here means that it's going to go off down to minus infinity here. And the mirror of this bit is going to go across like that. So the white um, is our Lambert W function.
Okay, um, now before we solve the four equations with the Lambert W function, um, and, and let's, let's just sort of label this um, uh, slightly clearer, let's, let's just label this as C and, and then that would be W uh, of C. Um, the domain of the Lambert W function, which remember is the white, let, let's just uh, draw it in, in slightly thicker. Um, so we'll draw it in white here. Um, oh, we'll draw it in green. Uh, so there's the W, there's the Lambert W function in green. The domain is basically from this point here, which we've already established is minus one over uh, E and all the way out to infinity. And the range is from minus infinity to plus infinity. Um, now I'm just gonna do one more thing, um, which will make sense in a minute. I'm gonna draw this bit in red here. And I'm gonna draw this bit in blue. And I'm gonna label this W zero. And I'm gonna label this W minus one. And that will make sense uh, in a minute. Now, we can go to uh, solving the four equations which we were going to solve in the first place um, and, 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 uh, and, and this will explain the, basically the four different parts of, uh, of the Lambert W function. And remember, uh, when we're solving, all we're going to need to do is we're going to find, so let's say if we wanted to solve W of whatever, um, 3 for example, we find the point 3, we go up to the, to the curve and then we go across and that is W of 3. Okay, so let's try and solve these four equations now, um, and I'll, I'll redraw this graph because it was getting a bit messy there. So let, let's redraw it. Um, uh, just give you, just give us a sec. So uh, here is the um, here is the Lambert W function, and uh, I'm going to um, draw it uh, like this, and then I'm going to draw this in blue. Like that, okay, and this is W0 and this is W minus 1, okay, and we've already established that this point here is minus 1 over E minus 1, and that is a very important point. So, uh, as promised, um, we are now going to solve the four equations uh, which we put in the right at the beginning, which are these four here. X e to the x is minus 2, x e to the x is minus 1 over e, x e to the x is minus a quarter, and x e to the x equals 4. So, x e to the x equals minus 2. Let's, let's try that one first. So, here we go. x e to the x equals minus 2. Well, we've already established that the, uh, the solution to that is um, w of minus 2 equals x, because we've already established that the Lambert w function is defined as the inverse of x e to the x. So W of minus 2 is the solution. Let's have a look uh, at minus 2 on, um, on, the, on, on the graph. Minus 2 is around here. Now if we draw a line vertically down from minus 2, so we see where it uh, intersects with the Lambert curve, which is the red W0 and, and, uh, and the blue W minus 1, um, it doesn't. So what we know is therefore that there is no real solution to x e to the x equals minus 2. We could try for the rest of our lives putting in various um, values of x into this equation and we will never get minus 2. Not in real anyway, there are complex solutions and we'll deal with them in a subsequent video. But in the real uh, world there are no solutions because um, the line, vertical line uh, minus 2 does not cross the Lambert W function. Okay, now let's take the second equation, which was x e to the x equals minus 1 over e. So the solution to that, uh, by definition, um, because w, Lambert W function is the inverse, is x equals w of minus 1 over e. So let's have a look at that, and let's uh, draw up from minus 1 over e. Well, we know here is minus 1 over e, and we know that it touches this curve here, which is at the point minus 1. So we know that uh, the solution to x e to, e, x e to the x equals minus 1 over e, the solution to that is x equals minus 1. And if, we, because, uh, and if we plug that back into here, we get minus 1 e to the minus 1, which indeed does equal minus 1 over e. So we know that x equals minus 1 is indeed the solution of x equals x, x e to the x equals minus 1 over e. Okay, so far so good. Let us now have a look at the third equation, and this one's very interesting. Um, the third equation is 
Um, x e to the x equals minus a quarter. Now, let's have a look at minus a quarter on this graph. Minus a quarter is between minus 1 over e and 0. So it's around there, minus a quarter. When we draw a line down, let's draw the line down in green, we find that it crosses the Lambert W curve twice. And that is why, uh, and now I can explain what the red and the blue bits and the W0 and the W-1 of the Lambert curve are, is the W0 is called the principal branch of the Lambert W function. And W-1 is the other real branch. So in order to find both of those solutions, we need to look at both W0 and W minus 1. Now just off the off the graph, if we look at this one, that is about uh, something along the lines of minus 3 eighths, something like that. And this one here is around minus 2. Now obviously this graph isn't particularly accurately drawn, so you know that's that's clearly not um, acceptable as a as a solution. But um, what we can do is we can go onto a, an online calculator or a, a, a scientific calculator and we can plug in the two uh, values w0 of minus a quarter and w minus 1 of minus a quarter and they will give us uh, w0 of minus a quarter and this is from an online scientific calculator you know just the same way that you would you would find for example log of 4.624 or whatever you'd plug it into a calculator w0 of minus a quarter is minus 0.3574 approximately and w1 of minus a quarter is minus 2.1533 now if we plug those two values here into this equation here so we plug in minus 0 0.3574 into x here and here, we will get minus a quarter. And if we plug in minus 2.1533 into there, we get minus a quarter. So these are the two solutions of x equal to the x equals minus a, minus a quarter, as can be seen from the graph here. Um, now, finally, we were going to look at the, the fourth uh, equation is x e to the x equals 4. So let's just go back to our uh, equation here, uh, our graph, sorry, um, and go put x uh, is 4. So in order to find the solution to x e to the x equals 4, we need w of 4. Now, there is only one uh, branch where this is going to, where it's going to hit, and it's going to hit the w0, the principal branch. It's not going to hit the w minus 1 over here, so we don't need to bother with that. And then we just move that across to here. Now, I haven't drawn the, um, the graph particularly accurately because this doesn't look anything like 1.2. Um, but in actual fact, if we use a, a scientific calculator uh, or an online calculator to work out w0 of 4, or, or just w of 4, because uh, there's only one branch solution, we get 1.2021. Um, so my graph isn't particularly uh, uh, accurate. Um, but anyway, if we then put 1.2021 into uh, our equation x e to the x equals 4, so if we put x equals uh, 1.2021 into here, we will find that the solution is 4. So in actual fact, just to summarise, the four equations uh, that we tried to solve, the first one, x e to the x equals minus 2, has no, has no real solution. We're in the world of complex solutions there. The second one, x e to the x equals minus uh, 1 over e, is right at that point there on the, um, uh, on, on the Lambert curve, and so there is one solution. And the third one is in between this uh, area here in between minus 1 over e and 0 where there are two solutions and we have to look at both w0 and w minus 1 to get the two solutions and anything above uh, 0 anything so for w of, of c where c is greater than 0 we only have one solution which again is on the the principal branch and that basically in a nutshell is the um, the, the uh, Lambert w function graph um, so in the next uh, video, what we're going to do is we're going to expand on this uh, and we'll see how powerful it really is for solving all sorts of uh, wacko uh, 